Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So what you're looking at is an image that I have ordered. Um, as you can see, that's from Evermoment. But it's an image that I have ordered from four different stores. And the reason, so it's going to be the exact same image from the four different stores in the exact same size, which will be a 25 by 25, all of them in square, except for one, which will be in round in a 25 by 25. And the reason I've done this, I thought it'd be nice to do an experiment between a few of the more common stores to see um, just to get a, a comparison um, of what their drills and canvas and postage and things like that are like so that's going to be my image and the reason that I've picked that image is it's quite a close-up shot and obviously it's only a 25 by 25 so I couldn't get anything too um, detailed and I think that might th that should work okay it should at 25 by 25 it should, should still give me a pretty good idea of canvas quality and um, you know all that sort of thing so that's the image that's a eye with some glittery eyeshadow with a butterfly so it's got color and it looks like it should also maybe have some 310. I mean, you can never tell, but it's got plenty of different color. It's got skin color, it's got vibrant colors, and it's got just, I'm hoping some 310 color. So it should give me a good overview of all the colors. So these are the stores that I'll be ordering from. So I've ordered one from Evermoment, one from Home Fun, one from Huacan, and then I've ordered a round just to toss in with the mix from Moon Crescent. So yeah, so I've ordered three square canvases and one round canvas. They're all the exact same image. Three of them are in square, one of them is in round. I've ordered these all, I ordered them all on the exact same day, on the 27th. I did order the Moon Crescent, I believe the day after, but it is still saying the 27th, I'm not sure why that is. And yes, yeah, so I'll be going over um, things like um, cost, postage, canvas quality, all those sorts of things. As you can see, just going through them now, this one's the Evermoment one. And as you can see, I mean, I'll go over this in my next video when they actually arrive. So I've ordered them on the 27th. It's now, what, the 6th today. So they should be sort of halfway on their way to me here i'm probably thinking if i was really lucky some of them might start showing up at the end of next week or probably it'll be the week after um so as you can see already it's pretty much well gone already how i thought it would the ever moment is comes out as the most expensive at 1964 australian um, my home fun one came in at $7.73 Australian. So that's quite a big difference. Uh, Who We Can came in at $7.68 Australian and that was the cheapest. And then you've got the Moon Crescent one, which will be slightly different because it's the round. So I'm not exactly comparing exactly the same. The, the round one will be more about comparing image to you know round versus square but it came in, in at 1025 Australian so it was the next most expensive compared to um, ever moments 
Okay, so here's like a um a quick list of sort of some of the things that I'll be checking over as they start to arrive. So I won't open any of them up until they all arrive and then I will film all of that stuff. I'll um, make sure that I list um, who was the quickest to send out to me, um, who arrived first, you know, maybe they'll all arrive at the exact same time. Um, so some of the things I'll go over, so this is the square drill canvases, is cost, who was most expensive. I've kind of gone through that, but I'll definitely go back over it so that for those that might just be watching the other video for the first time. So cost, you know, who was most expensive. Uh, postage, who took the longest. Um, what was the packaging like? How did it fare? That kind of thing. Uh, canvas quality. So I'll be opening up the canvases um, measuring the actual image size, is that correct? Uh, symbol clarity, things like how sticky they are, there's any rivers, bubbles. So I'll be comparing the four of them. It'll be mainly the three, but there'll be four all up. Uh, there'll be things like checking over the key, is it clear, that kind of thing. Um, Drill quality, so comparing the diamonds, and this will be kind of interesting. So it'll be interesting to see die lots. Do they, I mean, it's the exact same picture using square diamonds. Will there be um, differences in the DMC numbers that they'll use, or will they all be exactly the same? Like they could all be exactly the same. It could be really boring, and they might all be exactly the same. But that's interesting in itself because um, you kind of wonder, well, why am I paying so much money for one that's exactly the same if I can get it for seven dollars? Um, so yeah, drill. Just going over drill quality. I'll probably like if they've all got three tens, I'll probably open them all up, tip them out, and check them over just to compare uh, the kits. So overall, comparing the kits against one another, so the number of colours that they each have, are they all exactly the same? Um, that kind of thing. Uh, and then that, that would still go under similarities and differences between the kits. Once I look them all over, I'll really go through uh, things like, you know, how much extra glue around the sides. Um, you know, how much more wrinkling is there between the kits? How, what are the... Um, the, the little drill kit things that you get with it. What are they like? Um, is one way better than the other? Uh, things like that. Is one's packaging may, what, may, you know, way nicer than the other? Um, and then that once I've done them up, I will do like, okay, a final product comparing the final images. I mean, are they, they should all look the same. They're all square. It's all the same image. Will they all look the same? Will they all look, will they look different? I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm really excited about doing this. Um, then I'll go through things like remaining drills. Did I have enough, um, did I have enough to complete it? Did I have, how much trash did I have? I mean, I'm definitely going to get trash. So how much trash did I have overall? Um, I'm hoping I don't run out of any diamonds. Does this mean that if I do this experiment that this is the final word on which store is the best? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that it, in this particular comparison, this is what I thought, my personal feelings of what came out on top. You can make your own decisions at looking at the final product. And that's my daughter coming home. Sorry, my daughter just came home from work. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, so, you know, there's, you can make your own um, decision up, you know, when I do, do them up, what you personally think looks better or whether there's no difference at all. Maybe they're exactly all the same. They're just, it's a big giant fizzer and they're all pretty much, well, the same. Um, so each one is 25 by 25, so I think... 
what did we work out? And there's four of them. That's like I'm doing a 50 by 50. I'm really bad with math. You can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, so it shouldn't take me too long to do this. So I'll probably get started as soon as they all turn up. Then I've just got down the bottom the round drill canvas. I purely ordered that just to compare that image to a square canvas just to see I just chucked that in at the end to see what those you know is there a difference I know I like working on rounds and I do like working on squares so I will take a can I'll, I'll pick any sometimes I do rounds sometimes I do squares I have no preference I like both um, but it'd be interesting to see um, you know how the image looks and I'll be covering the same topics as above and I'll also do sort of, it'll be interesting to see a sparkle comparison because I know that rounds do tend to sparkle more than a square. So I'll probably also do a comparison on that. So yeah, that's, that's my Aldi store experiment. If I tip this back, you can see that's what I've labeled it up there. Aldi, uh, Ali, Aldi, AliExpress store experiment. Um, yeah, so hopefully um, everybody out there is, you know, interested in this kind of a thing. It'll be interesting to see the same image done three times over from three different stores. And the reason I picked Home Fun, Ever Moment, and Who I Can for the three squares is those seems to be they those three stores seem to be the ones that pop up the most on the Facebook groups of what most people seem to be ordering from AliExpress whenever you know someone asks where to order those are the ones that everyone seems to jump in with the most and I have ordered from the Moon Crescent store for the round um, that is the same store it comes under the umbrella of Sophie Beauty store I'm not sure of the exact name but it comes under it's it's owned by that store so that's why I've ordered that one. And that one comes up a lot as being quite popular as well. And yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to go over today. If you have any um, questions or you things that you want me to go over with the three different companies or, uh, you know, to check on when they all come in, let me know, know down below in the comments section. Sorry, video cut out. <laughs> So yeah, that concludes my video. Um, like I said, any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And hopefully it won't be too long until those canvases turn up in the mail. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.